In this video I am gonna show you how I created this Iron Man fan art piece. Hello and welcome to my channel. Please give me feedback and let me know if you enjoyed my video or not. So let's get started. I started a new document and filled the background with simple dark. As you can see I have many layers like background, figure, dodge and burn, foreground, color adjustments, aniric FX for glow and flares, and finally a camera raw setting. Let us have a look in the background folder. There are four layers where each of these layers have different Firestock images. I downloaded it from stock.adobe.com where I have a subscription. In layer 1 you can see simple fire image with nice sparkle effect, including a layer mask and a box blur effect, which one I like to use for different blur steps. The layer is also converted in a smart object, so you can re-edit without losing any pixel information from the original picture. Let us have a closer look in the smart object. This is the original imported file. It is sharpened and no blur effects on it. I will close the document without saving to come back to the composition. Let us have a look for blur settings in this case. Double click on it and I can see my settings. We have two points and each point I can access the strongness for blur. You can see it on the right top. With different settings you can give your picture the impression of depth. We'll cancel this. Now I can show you the other stocks. I use the same procedure for every four background layers shown here. I can click by the layers for showing you. Just play around to find your optimized settings. Every edit is different and needs other settings. Let us have a closer look for the layer masks. In this example, they are adjusted to get a gradient look to the scene. I can decide what is more in focus and what not. The functionality is simple. Drawing with black on it, you hide pixels, drawing with white you show them. Now closing the background folder to get into next steps. Here you can see the imported figure from pixelsquid.com. I can show you the whole figure which I imported to the composition. I think it looks very cool. I added a guardian map with the following settings. Also a layer mask to hide some areas as you can see. Next I did color adjustments with curves to Iron Man for matching the fire background. At the moment it looks like wrong, but with more corrections it will works. Believe me. You can see the different RGB settings here. Next I added in layer style some color overlays to set shadows on Iron Man. Looking from where the light is coming and adjust it to the figure. 
I wanted to add top lights, and I did this over an adjustment layer, U and saturation. Settings are shown here. Over the preview you can see the before and after. This one is for yellow lights. For red lights I also added an hue and saturation layer, but with other settings to get it in red. To get more exposure I used exposure layer. You can find it also under adjustment layers. With the masks I decided for every layer where the effects should appear. The last layer in this group is for correction the shadows above the figure. So we can close this group and going forward for the next. For more light and shadow details I used one of 1000 possibilities with dodge and burn to get my result. Here you can see the before and after. Next I show you the foreground folder, which is similar to the background folder. Adding some light flares and fire particles with the same method as before. Also use box blur effect to get these results. Now it was time to correction the colors, which looks very weird at the moment. With the adjustment, channel mixer I did get the results I really wanted. These are my settings. Important in my case, to activate the checkbox monochrome and change the layer blending style to luminosity. Then I added again a gradient map to change my highlight and shadow colors. That gave me a better look to the whole scene. I used the layer blending style, soft light with an opacity of 40%. Now one of my favorite things I do in Photoshop. Glow. Yeah as you know me, I like to bring glow in pictures. I used a new plugin called Zeneric. I don't explain in this video how it works, but I can do in another video. Let me know if you are interested. The plugin is so freaking cool. As you can see I create three different layers over the plugin. Each of it glow different parts in the picture. I can show you how the smart object looks. They blend it in and gives this little nice touch I need for my pictures. And I save so much time with this, cause I don't have to do manually now. Thanks Aneric. Final I used a camera raw filter to get my final result. If you liked this video, please let me know in comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon again.